and outside Africa, an advisor to the head of the Ukrainian presidential office, Mikhail Potoliak, says Ukrainian roads are operating as usual, while all ports and the sky over the country are closed. Podoliak said commercial banks are closed, but the state banking sector is working. He added that Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, remained in the capital as a display of resilience, which the Ukrainians are known for. The big question is what can they do beyond the sanction? Because if you think about it, um, this would be like the fifth or sixth time the sanctions have been um, thrown at the Russian government. You remember in 2014 when they invaded Crimea, there were a raft of sanctions which were imposed on Russia. Uh, but apparently, it looks like the sanctions haven't done much because if the sanction was to deter further aggression from Russia, uh, it hasn't worked because uh, eight years down the line, you have Russia now in the Donbass region. And um, it's a big question. It's a million naira, a million dollar question people are asking. What more can they do? I mean, you've had President Zelensky say that they should do more tougher sanctions. Uh, will it be to ban uh, Russia from the international monetary system, which is sweet? Uh, that's an option, but it hasn't happened yet. But I'm sure if you did listen to uh, Joe Biden, the US president yesterday, when he reeled out those so-called very tough sanctions. He was asked questions about uh, what he thought about why President Putin himself hadn't been sanctioned, and he, he had no answer to that question. So uh, there's a lot of um, you know, pessimism about whether these sanctions will solve the problem. It's a good thing to look at what China is not saying yet. Uh, China, right from time, has always been a strong ally. And they perhaps uh, represent the strongest opportunity to say whether or not Russia will get any support. And in previous times, even at the Security Council, China has often stood side by side with Russia. And this is not going to be any different. They're going to most likely uh, insist that uh, they make their point clear that they are in support of Russia. They probably won't come out and say, but you go, if you, I mean, I was in China a couple of times, if you go around China, you see that the, the, the official language is Mandarin, but every major shop or business has got the Russian language at the bottom. So you're not going to expect China to fall outside uh, 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 Russia in this one. They're going to be walking with them arm in arm. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.